Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. We're gonna talk about some uh some streaming stuff, man. Like, yeah, I'm I'm getting deep in this, man. I'm getting deep in it, man. I'm loving it though. I'm loving it though. Shout out to the free plan game. Shout out to the free movie and TV squad. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to the free music squad, you know what I mean? Hey, everything for free. <laughs> everything for free, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, John Lewis, what's up, man? What's up? I'm gonna let a few more people uh check in real quick. And then once we get like a couple more people, then we'll start it. All right. We ain't gonna be too long though. So what y'all got going on now? It's Sunday night, so people winding down, man. People winding down on Sunday. How is the sound on the Moto E5 Plus? Headphone jack. That's what I'm using, the Moto E5 Plus. I'm on a G7 Power right now, bro. We passed that. We passed, that's last year. We passed that. <laughs> we passed that. Oh, headphone jack. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, but I got my little speaker plugged up to it right now, man. It's playing the music right now. It's my little DJ setup, man. And I got the new mobile. I got the new mobile with 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 the, with the sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. Hey, go ahead and share this out on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Go share this out on uh, MeWe. You got me. We shared out on Telegram. You got Telegram. Shared out on WhatsApp. Um, you know, you know the usuals, man. Um, matter of fact, I think I go. I forgot to tell people on Twitter. Hold on, y'all. Let more people come in, and then we get started. That beat, that beat pretty nice. Make sure, make sure you got some good quality headphones too, man. That that what really matters too. Make sure you got some good quality headphones. And also, there's an app. It's an amplifier app. Um, I think it's called Boom or Sound Boom or something like that. Just download that app on the Google Play Store. Allow it to get uh, permission um, for your phone. Turn that mug on, put your headphones in. Rock out, man. Rock out. No, nah, I don't have the J7 start, bro. Oh, the Dolby, the Dolby's on the G7, the, the regular G7, the more expensive G7, and the more expensive G6. If you don't have the Moto G6 or the Moto G7, you won't have the Dolby sound on your Motorola phones. So you gotta keep that in mind if, if, if you want the, the audio quality. But bro, I'm telling you, man, like people sleeping, people sleeping on the Xperia XA2 Ocean, this gotta quiet that, bro. This Android device got four gigs of RAM, got a quad deck, two hundred dollars. You know, probably costs less than that now because the X, the Xperia X10 or Xperia 10 is out. So you get the XA2 Ultra probably on Amazon for less than one. But it got it got a quad deck, bro. Like people people sleeping on that, and when I bring it out, they be hating. Look at all those settings on that joint, bro. This is Sony Xperia. It got dynamic sounds. It got that. It got that DSE HX. Got that. That high quality. Got that clear audio plus. Man. Headphone jack. Yeah. Tell y'all. And I'm, I'm gonna demo some uh, apps for y'all. Like 
I got all uh, Magic TV and uh, stuff like that. So yeah. So you're not a fan of Moto software, you're a Samsung. Oh, well, that's because like Moto and Nokia, they, they're basically bare-bone Android. So if you don't like bare-bone Android, or if you don't like like Moto actions, and you don't like the, the Moto display stuff, and yeah, of course, yeah, you're not gonna like it, of course. If you're not into all that, now, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just say they, they've been using that for years. They've been using that for years, bro. Just the first Moto G. So it's just boring. Yeah, they probably do need to update it or something like that. I mean, I, I do like the little peak, you know, the little the display peak and everything like that. That's cool. But they, they do need to like update it a little bit. Maybe have live screen, screen saver, something like, like like you said, like the Samsung phones have a live screen saver or live photo in the background, you know. But I mean, it don't bother me for real. And then if you got the ones with the uh the proximity sensor on the front, you just wave over. You know what I'm saying? You just wave your hand over it. And you know, your notifications show up. You don't have to pick up your phone, just wave your hand over it. Now I know that's like gimmicky. That kind of reminds you of what LG was trying to do with the little air gestures and stuff like that. But it, it worked like about 90% of the time. Sometimes you did it too fast. You wouldn't get the notification to pop up, but if you do it just right, you wait it just right, you'll see a notification. But um, it is what it is. Say, so I don't think Moto cares about the E family because Solik said it might have a 430 samsung what a 430 samsung as last year oh you talk about the model e6 uh yeah i'm not i'm not too hyped about that i mean i was more hyped about the g7 series and now the the model z4 and i also i also like the model uh one vision the model one vision because it got all the samsung like processing chips it got the samsung cameras samsung screen it's like basically Motorola and Samsung had a baby, man, like with stock Android. And, you know, I, and I always been said this. I always been said this. I think the Galaxy phones will run much smoother on stock Android. That's just my opinion. I, I, I don't know what the deal is with Google and Samsung, but hey, it is what it is. Funny, funny how people slap, uh, slap on the Nova launcher on the Galaxy phones, but they say the Galaxy runs on. Great, but then why are you slapping on a, a, another launcher? Why you don't like your phone as is? You know? So it is what it is, man. I mean, but Android's Android's open source. Do whatever you want to with the phone. It's yours. You bought it, it's yours. So I guess, man. Oh, the one power, uh, I think the one power had like Snapdragon 625. Or was it the one? It was either the Motorola one or the uh one power had 625. I think the other one had like 630. I know I know the Moto G7 power got 632. And, and the Moto G7 got 636, I think. So that, that's where all that's going. That, that's like mid-range, low budget processor. I mean, you want high end, you know you gotta get the 850, the 840, the 850. So that's high end. You want the high end, you gotta get the 800 series. That's just point blank. S simple as that. All right, man. Look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start the show with man. We're going to go ahead and start the show. All right. All right, so, um, yeah, I, I've been, I've been uh, playing around with these, uh, you know, streaming uh, services, streaming boxes. Um, I got my uh, Clear, Clear TV stream right here. It's been, actually, it's been working better now uh, since I finally figured it all out and everything like that. So, um. Yeah, I did record live TV. I did. I recorded a, a, you know, a little bit of a baseball game yesterday just to test it out. I recorded some uh, Family Guy. Um, matter of fact, I can I can show you what I got recorded. But yeah, so um, the app, the app, I I, I kind of see why people was disliking the application. 
because it crashes a lot. All right. It crashes a lot. And sometimes you, you have to open the app up like maybe once or twice or something like that before you can um, get it started. And it is a little pain um, when it comes to connecting to it. It is a little issue when it comes to connecting to it because when, once you, let's say you got it on your phone, which I do, I have it on my Sony phone, right? So once you have it on your phone and you connect it for the first time, you get it all connected to, uh, to the clear stream um, in your house and when you got the Wi-Fi connection and you're trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and then you're trying to connect the Clearstream app to the, you know, the little device. Um, sometimes it just, um, it keeps saying no connection. So you got constantly got to like, you got to keep playing with it. This, this is not for everybody, but it's for people, you know, that, that want a cheaper route other than doing, uh, Plex and H and home run HD and the, the, the Amazon low cast or whatever, uh, for like the live DVR live TV. And like I said, we're going to get it, get back into that coding stuff. But, um, this is, a uh, a low, but I would say a low budget version of trying to get DVR or live TV. Wait, well, it's really not DVR because all, all, all your recordings are stored on your phone. So I even have an SD card and I can't move it to the SD card. So if you're trying to, you know, trying to record a whole like episode of a um, show, like on CBS or Fox or whatever, make sure you got enough storage on your smartphone, your internal memory. Not the SD card, because it's not going to go down the SD card. That's one thing you got to, like, you know, keep in mind when you're using Clearstream TV. Um, as I, I would say as your daily driver for antenna TV. Um, but I, I think it's a pretty cool concept. It's neat that you don't have to have your antenna connected to the TV. You can have, like I said, you can have your Fire Sticks. You got your Chromecast. You got your Roku Sticks. Android TV boxes all connected to the TV. And you won't have to worry about the antenna. The antenna will be plugged up uh, to this little gadget right here. Um, now, <laughs> it's possible. I would say it's possible to take it on a roll with you. But I just think the Magic TV is more like compact. And it's more doable than a clear TV because for the simple fact, you can have this in a car. Now, you can have this in a car on road trips versus... I mean, if you got an RV, I think you got an RV or um, or outlet in your whip or something like that, a van or carry van, whatever. It's a possibility the clear TV can work, but you're gonna be moving around a lot, and it depends on the signal, or the you know signal strength, and like like how how good the um how how good the TV how good the picture comes in. It, it's a possibility that you you can get away with the clear screen TV, but um. I would, I would say have this as a backup. Have this as a backup plan. And then if you don't have Wi-Fi, it's it's really pointless. If you don't have Wi-Fi at home or if you don't have Wi-Fi at like a um, hotel or one of your relatives' houses or anything like that. Or if, you, if, if you're if you a college student, you're in the dorm room, you don't, you know, you don't have that type of signal, um, then it might not be for you. But like I said, if 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 you don't like the clear stream TV, go with Magic. Go with the Magic TV. It already has a built-in antenna inside of it. I did plenty of videos. I already have a built-in TV inside of it. I mean antenna, and you can charge your phone up or tablet to it. So that's one cool, a uh, couple of cool things you like about it. But like I said, I got um, I got some recordings. So this is what it looked like. And, and like I said, it all depends on your, your signal, your, your quality of your antenna, the signal, um, the location of the antenna in the room with the clear stream on um, device connected. So it all depends on man. What's up, everybody? Okay, I see we see more people. Okay. They would, but like Samsung Express, one UI is very childish. Okay, app crashes or painful. Yeah, that's right. All right, Miss Mr. Urban World, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Well, welcome, welcome to the uh, screen. Welcome to the screen. Just came in. You were talking about Cody. If so, it works better on Android boxes than phones. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That that that's cool. And now you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. You can, but you can use Cody on almost anything. You know, 
you can even put Cody on a USB stick. So keep that in mind too, guys. Keep that in mind. You can put Cody on a USB stick. Then you said, congrats, man. For what? <laughs> For what? Oh, free Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. If, if you can get it, if you can get it and you got a TV nearby or, um, you know, you're using, uh, yeah, if you got a TV nearby, you're using a, a you're taking a clear stream uh, antenna with you. Sure. Right on. Roku's and Amazon Fire. Yeah, for sure. Okay, on a scale of 10, how loud is Moto E5 Plus headphones? I mean, it just depends. It, it, it really depends on your ear. It really depends on your ear. I use US TV now. All right. Oh, okay, that's something new. What, what's that? What's that? Put me on game. All right. Daniel says, yeah, I'm trying to get a third TV set. Okay, cool. Michael Chan, what's up? Hi, hey, have you tried LGV? Look, okay. I'm I'm on a look, I'm on I'm on a I'm on the verge of getting a, a, a decent mid-range flags your phone. Um my picks are coming down to this. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, my picks are coming down to this. Don't get mad or whatever. It's my picks. This one, my picks is, is going by, you know, because cause I, I, I'm in a, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a bond right now because I got to get a new laptop and everything like that. So I'm in a bond right now. So what, what, what I'm trying to shoot for is something like, like, like okay, of course, Moto Z4. Moto Z4 is going to be on my list. The, the Zen, Zen Phone 6. If I can get a sweet deal on the Zen Phone 6, Pixel 3a XL. I want to go with the, the big one. I don't want to go with the little one. I actually want to go with the big one this time. Um, the LG V35. Now, I know that's like last year, 2017, but it's still a decent device. And Cricket got it for like 350 So there you have it. Uh, LG G7. And I mean, maybe, I don't know, man. But those are my picks right now. Those are my picks. Maybe like, I don't know. Those are my picks right now. Let, let me know y'all thoughts. All right, Jaren Lewis says E5 Plus, wish it had Dolby. You just gonna have to get the, the, the mid range model, man. That's all. I mean, Moto G6, look, look, Motorola and Best Buy are selling Moto G6 like crazy. It's got Android 9 Pie. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not on Snapdragon 630 or whatever like that. But you want something for like 100 bucks, 120, or something under $200, then the G6 is gonna be your best bet. If you don't want the E series of the Motorola series, that's that's just plain simple. And it got Dolby, it got Dolby Audio. That's that's what all you guys care about. And no notch, and no notch. So if that's all you care about, so there you go. All right, check out US TV now. There is a free hack where you get forty channels free for life. Just need an internet connection. Right, right, exactly. Mediacom versus CenturyLink. I, I have no say on that. I, no thoughts about that. All right. Oh, um, okay. Dang. Okay, because I looked up other TV sets like Roku's. And, oh, okay. All right, that's cool. All right, we got a new one in the building. What's up? Why is it I add a source to it? It shows no. Oh, okay. Well, when you do it with Cody, see, I think that's on Cody. So when you do it with Cody, that means, uh, what is it? Uh, like, like it's it's not working. Basically, it's an error. It's a source code error or something. Um, maybe that the developer or person with the add-on, um, maybe it's not. Maybe they're they're not using it anymore. Or I'm gonna say using it. Maybe they got shut down. Maybe that source they're using was shut down. You know, so. It just depends because that popped up with TV Land. I was trying to see if, if TV Land source code would work with, with Cody. And it, it kept like saying error. So the TV, the TV Land add-on does not work, man. I was trying to watch BT for free. <laughs> I was trying to get that BT for free on TV Land. <laughs> it's all good. What up, Jay? Jay in the house. Jay Madlock in the house. What's up? Yeah, big Jay in this bitch. Yeah. Boy, say I'm switching to Metro due to boost mobile bad coverage. Okay, that's cool, man. Do what you got to do. 
what are the best or other huh yeah because android owens governor what texted apps <laughs> what uh go go what are you trying to say daniel what are you what are you trying to say all right jay jay man like so yo sammy sammy said the fold is ready to drop i know i'm late but i wanted to say that <laughs> man that's old news bro that's old news that's old news. Somebody said, I want to fold. So sad. I think, man, look, you want to fold? Get the ZTE uh, XIM, man. <laughs> $100, $100 foldable. It, hey, if y'all want me to count a $100 foldable, let me, let me know. Let me know, man. Clap for that. Donate. Donate for that joint. Donate. You want me to get a $100 foldable? <laughs> for real. Okay. Are you on some social medias? You can get followers all the time. Boost is good in my area, but I'm going to Metro due to, hold on. So I tried different ones. Okay. Yeah, you just, yeah, it's, it's a hit or miss with these add-ons. Um, same thing happened with the Plex server. Uh, Plex server had add-ons. And, and, and Plex is another alternative to Cody. So you can you can bring in add-ons uh, with Plex as well. Uh, like um, what I was about to say is, if if you're trying to do that live DVR stuff, live TV DVR, you really don't need the Plex Pass if you get the ClearStream TV. <clears throat> if you get the ClearStream TV, but now the thing is though, if you do the DVR with the Plex, you go you gonna get more storage. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna get more storage, and you know you could you could store up more episodes of your favorite TV shows and movies and sports. Um, if you, you know, you're watching a football game, uh, you can't, you can't see it all. So you record it at home. You know, you got, you got your own setup going on. So you can record the football game at home or basketball game, wh wh whatever you into. So, um, but it does cost a little more. It costs $120 a year, not, not a year, but lifetime. Lifetime is 119. And then you do the Plex pass uh, for a year, it's thirty nine dollars a year, so it, it just depends on if you're willing to spend, you know, a one time payment. Now think about it: the thirty five dollar on clearance, the the clear stream. Hold on, let me let me get the box. The clear stream, I got it at Walmart for thirty five dollars one time payment. Thirty five dollars on on clearance at Walmart. If you already got antennas at the crib and you got internet, that's all you gotta do is hook it up, power it on. Connected to your your iPad, connected to your Galaxy tablet, whatever you know what I mean, and then download the Clear Stream TV app because that's how you'll get the TV, and then see see how well it goes. But I mean, to be honest, I don't think it's a waste of money. I mean, right now for thirty five dollars versus you trying to duplex or trying to get these crazy setups. I mean, it, it's it's your preference. It's all depending on your preference. That's all I'm saying. He said bet for free. Yeah. <laughs> BT for free. Yeah. That boy said, I'm watching on, I'm watching price to drop. It will for sure. Boost is the best. Okay. Can't wait to see Note 10 best phone. <laughs> that man, no. Nah. No, nah, man. They got rid of the headphone jack, bro. No, nah, they got rid of the headphone jack. That ain't the best phone, man. Y'all should be born a bus, man. Y'all. Come on, Samsung, come on, man. Let's, let's hope LG don't get rid of the headphone jack, man. For real. Okay, somebody's talking about Google Stadia. Um, we have PS5 graphics and we'll work on the fold for $10 a month. So the fold would be good all in one device. Netflix versus Hulu. Uh, it just depends, man. It depends on if you're willing to spend. Like, okay, how about this? T-Mobile versus Sprint. T-Mobile, if you on T-Mobile's the highest end unlimited plan, you got Netflix for free. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to pay. See, see what, what people are not thinking is, when I'm thinking about it in my mind, if, if that's the only reason why you're going with T-Mobile is so you could get Netflix for free, you're not getting it for free. 
You spending seventy dollars a month, man. Wake up. Come on, wake up. You better, you better, you better ask, ask for somebody um username and password, man. Get out of here, man. Come on, man. Learn how to pimp. Learn how to pimp. <laughs> Learn how to pimp. And then and then I want to talk about some APKs too. So so a lot of these APKs out here already, and, and, including like you, you could get it, you could get like the add-ons, even on Cody, got got the Netflix movies, got the Netflix show. So hey man, you know what I'm saying? Like for free. Like get out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all play with your boy, man. Y'all play with your boy. My boy Jay said that that ZTX sign M was bad as a look. Little baby. <laughs> I say I'm getting the stadium, uh, just just have to. Uh, I'm getting the stadium just to have it, but I hate the fact of never owning my games. What happens when the server is shut down? No game. I mean, hey, bro, that, that's the same way with the PlayStation. Same way with the Xbox. They all going there. They all going there. And, and if you're not paying attention to what you know, Microsoft and Sony are doing, man, and, and, and Nintendo. Um, speaking of Nintendo, man, look, look, look. Shout out to Nintendo, dog. Shout, shout out to SDA developers. Shout out to SDA developers because because people people are, are finding ways to 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 bring to to take the Android Switch. I mean, not see, I call it the Android Switch, Nintendo Switch, and and make it an Android. So, woo, that 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. I might I might have to call me a Nintendo Switch just to port over Android, man. Hey. hey. Hey, Nintendo and Android for the win, man. On everything. <laughs> Y'all killing me, man. Y'all killing me. Say, so I have a similar service called GeForce. GeForce Now, so far, so good. Okay, that's what's up. Been using it for six months so far, but been cloud gaming for 10 years. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. No 10 iPhone killer. I mean, man, that, that's old news, man iPhone been dead, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all better wake up, man. No, 10 ain't the iPhone killer. iPhone been dead. It's holding, it's holding on to its last lifeline, man. Holding on to its last lifeline. New Xbox getting rid of exactly. Stranger Things season three soon. Okay, that's cool. I got Netflix originals are the best. I mean, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. I mean, I, I, I really. I really don't have too, you know, too much feelings for that, but it is what it is. But we, we want to talk about some movies too, man. We want to talk about some movies real quick. That's why I love Android, all the APKs. Never see this on iPhone. I mean, there, there's ways, there's ways to get around with the iPhone. You just gotta tinker with it, man. It, it's, it's 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 tough on the iPhone because Apple, you know, locked it, locked it down. You know what I'm saying? Apple locked it down. I mean, it was at, you know, a couple of years ago, it was so easy to get like two two app. You get like Tutu app and get like Spotify Premium, um, Netflix, YouTube Premium. You get all of them, like downloaded from the Tutu app. But I don't even know. Like any anybody use Tutu on iOS? Like y'all, y'all let me know what what y'all thoughts is. But I mean, it's been apps, it's been apps creeping on the Apple App Store under the radar that you can actually get like decent, like decent quality, like free movies and TV shows. They are even out, like they are even out available right now. Like in the movie theaters and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, it really just depends on how you do your research. How you know, like what what forums you go to, um, what groups you in, who talking about what, what YouTube channels you talking, um, you know, you watching and viewing, um, to to figure all this stuff out. Because basically, that's how I figured out all this stuff out. Watching other YouTube channels, like, and, and reading articles and going through like APK websites, like APK Mirror. APK Pure, App Toy, um, things like that. So, I mean, it, it's plenty of stuff out here that you can, you know, tinker with and, you know, figure it out, man. I mean, it's, it, it's, not, it's not simple, but you can make it simple. I'll put it like that. You can make it simple. But um, anybody go see Child's Play yet? Or uh, why, I tried watching it on uh, Cinema HD. Um, the, one, the one stream I had, <laughs> they, they loaded up on... Uh, the child's play from 1988. So technically, I didn't watch. I didn't watch 2019. I'm still. I'm still trying to find that right APK. That's why. That's why I was on uh, Facebook earlier. 
trying to find the right APK for it. But um, yeah, so that that that's where we at right now, man. That's where we at. Um, but a lot of people saying that, that movie horrible though. A lot of people saying that the new child's play, and and then and then take and then take the uh, uh, under the wings of the 1988 version. So or or it didn't keep it. Like the storyline wasn't directly the same as um the 1988 or the child's play series in the age. So I mean it is what it is. Um a lot of people said Toy Story spanking that ass, man. <laughs> Toy Story 4. Hey, Toy Story still spanking that ass, man. But but it was a cameo. It was a cameo for the child's play 2019. It's a poster. I, I, I watched this video on YouTube. I forgot the YouTube channel, but they were like breaking down uh child's play 2019. They were breaking it down pretty decent. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, I don't know, man. It, it just depends on wherever you come from. I mean, you came from the era where you you was just getting into, you know, Chucky, and you just saw, like, what, see the Chucky, Bride the Chucky? Yeah, you still young as hell, man. Like, I'm, talk, I'm talking to the Chucky fans from Child's Play, like, 1988. That means you technically had to be, like, two or three years old to even remember it, or even, I don't even know you could remember when you were one. Like, I started watching it like, like eight ninety, like nineteen ninety when the when Child's Play two started dropping and everything like that. So you know, I had to you know make myself go back one, but I caught up you know very quickly. I'm like, oh, well, you know, but man, at, at one point that stuff used to be like a little creepy, but then like now, I don't know. So so Child's Play twenty nineteen is based on technology, man. It's based on tech, um, artificial intelligence. The the it's not the good guy doll. It's called the buddy doll. And actually, the buddy doll is a real doll. Like, not real, real, like real life doll, but it, it came out like, I think the actual doll came like in, in the 80s or night. I, I, I never had one. I, man, <laughs> I ain't play with no dolls. <laughs> I had, and your boy had, your boy had Batman. Your boy had Batman, action figure, Ninja Turtle. Your boy had Batman, uh, Superman, all that. You know what I'm saying? We, we grew up on Power Rangers, all that. We now know they ain't dogs, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. But but speaking of Batman, so so the voiceover, uh, Child's Play, um, 2019, he was the voiceover a Joker in a in a Batman anime series. So I I don't know, like he was okay playing the Joker. The the guy was playing okay for Joker. But not for like um, not for like uh Chucky. I don't know, man. That's just my thing. All right, people talk about Shazam. All right, yeah, I got one. I saw Avengers before everybody else. They need Chuck. They need Chucky Trash. Yeah, man, it's 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 horrible. Shazam was dope, but people said it sucked. Shazam was awesome. People was blind. And don't be saying that hey, you giving out our age. <laughs> it's all right, man. I had I had a buddy. I had a buddy doll, the black one. Oh, for real? And a robot called 2XL. Hmm. I had the first season of Power Rangers action figure. Man, you bro, like, like the first season, first, first season of Power Rangers. That was the best, man. Well, well. After I think after they brought the Green Ranger on, that that's that's when it came. That's when it got hard, bro. We had the Dragon Lord. That was that was hard. That was dope, man. Hey, 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 but hey, but you you got to get a Black Ranger his props though, man. He hey, he kept the hip though. He he, he kept the hip. They they kind of they they it's like they trying to make him a little soft, man. But he kept the hip though. But yeah, yeah, Black Ranger and Green Ranger. The fire though, they, they was popping. I mean, Blue Ranger, he was all right. He was all right. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark Hamill. Yeah, that that's the dude name. Yeah. He said, "Y'all hot." Jason the Red Ranger is better than the Green Ranger any day of the week. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, I, don't... <laughs> I don't know, dog. Man, you crazy. I don't know, man. You crazy, bro. <laughs> you crazy, but but originally. Originally, for for like the Green Ranger, he was supposed to be evil anyway. Like Rita, I, I think technically, I think Rita was supposed to be a Green Ranger, but um, Zordon, like he had like 
kicked her off or something like that. So that's where that's where she got evil. And then, you know, she wanted to, you know, she she wanted to turn on Zordon and stuff like that. If you watch the if you watch the the the, the later, the the latest Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, the, the newer one they came out with, it kind of tells you that backstory. But that that that's what really was supposed to be though. The Green Ranger wasn't supposed to be a dude. It was supposed to be Rita. Rita Repulsa. Said a black ranger missing a finger. What? Oh yeah, in real life. Yeah. No, no. You talking about you talking about the you talking about the uh the black actor or the white one? I think it was the white actor. I think the dude that played Adam, not Zach, the dude that played Adam. Was he? Or was Zach was missing a finger? Yeah, I saw he was. Oh yeah, you was right. Yeah, okay. Zach, okay. I, I I mean I know in real life, but I'm just saying the dude that played that played the the character Zach or Adam. Yeah. He always hides the handle on his Instagram. I'm gonna check that out again. Hey, did y'all see the Power Ranger reboot? The the R rating, <laughs> the R rating. It was dark, had blood and epic. It was Power Rangers for adults. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, that, yeah, I seen that on YouTube and stuff like that. Man, that was wild though, man. That was like um, that was on some Mortal Kombat type shit. <laughs> the Power Rangers on some Mortal Kombat type shit though, for real though. But hey, hey, that's a classic movie too, man. Mortal Kombat. That's a classic. I don't know if they can ever remake that. And, you know, I, I really didn't get into the Super Street Fighter joint like that, but I don't know, man. It, it, it's everybody preference, everybody a fan of something. So that, that's what that that's what they come down to. But man, Toy Story 4 spanked that ass child's play. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that's crazy. They, they go, hey, Toy Story 4 gonna get like a hundred million by the end of the weekend, man. <laughs> that's crazy, man. But um, yeah. Super Street Fighter, hella dope. Not, I can't say the original, I can't say the very first one. I can't say the very first, I mean, yeah, the series itself, the, the comics, the cartoon, yeah, for sure, but not the movie, not the live action movie. I, I don't know, man. I don't know, I had mixed, I had mixed feelings about it. All the games, yeah, for, for real though, for real though, though, hey. Gotta give it up to the games, though, yeah. For sure. But um, yeah. So some of some like like I said, like like you could you could um you could do add-ons with Cody and Plex. And a actually, if you if you use an APK um through Plex, I mean not through Plex, but APK through Cody, and the the, the APK allow you to download the movies to your device. You can download the movies um straight to your device. And and see see Cody is a media player too. So basically, you can watch the movies offline through the Cody app, man. So hey, man, that. That's dope, man. Y'all better pay attention. You better pay attention. All, all these people out here bragging about unlimited data. You really don't need it, man. You really don't need it, man. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a money gimmick, man. It's just a money gimmick. As, as much as that home internet, it's just a money gimmick, man. You, you, it's like all these devices and products. You're starting to find out that all you, all you need is like a casting, like a casting USB stick. Plug it up to your TV. You could cast right from your phone. You don't even need house internet. Whatever you got on your phone, you could cast it right to your TV. So like, that's why Chromecast infamous, man. That's why, yeah, I still got a Google Chromecast. Yeah, I still, I still got a Google Chromecast, man. Like, it still work. It still work. Like, if 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 I got mobile hotspot, if I got mobile hotspot on my phone, I could I could still connect it to the Chromecast. Same way with Roku, you can still connect Roku. To your mobile hotspot, your smartphone. You really don't necessarily need at home internet. Now, unless your at home internet is faster than T Mobile Sprint, ATT, uh, Verizon. Oh, speaking of Verizon, man, look, I got to share something with y'all, bro. Y'all going to laugh y'all butts off, man. I clown Verizon. That's some real stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can find that, that, that tweet real quick. Hold on. If I can't, I'll just go ahead and just tell you. But, um, man, some guy, uh, some guy had posted something about um <laughs> for free. Okay, yeah, here it is on Twitter. Man, I, I gave him that Drake. I gave him that Drake. Hold on. Um, let me see.
Now, I guess, hey, he must have took it down. I think, don't tell me he took that tweet. Ah, uh, this bro took the tweet down. Oh, no, he didn't. Hold on. <laughs> I had, I had Wi-Fi. <laughs> I had my data turned off. Hold on. Hold on, yeah. Hold on. Let me get, let me get to it. Hold on. I think I'm going to find it real quick. But, uh, yeah, basically, you know how, you know how Verizon say they the number one network in America. But, all right, so I posted. All right, I posted after his um tweet. Hey, let me see if I can find it. He might have took it down. No, I don't think he did. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, I might even post the extra clip of it on uh, my YouTube channel. But it's funny, though. It's funny, though. Yo, I'm just going to say this one time for one time. Two phones out here dropping that info for free. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it like Kevin Durant. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it like Kevin Durant. Um, we was at the uh, we was at the podium uh, with Wilson Westbrook. They talk about old boy from uh, Dallas Mavericks. Hold up, hold up. Don't say nothing. He, hold on. He's an idiot. Verizon is an idiot. That's all I gotta say. Next question. <laughs> They're idiots. They're idiots. Next question. Anyways, okay. So so Jeff Moore, Jeff Moore on Twitter posted. Um, this was like. Couple of days ago, all Best Buy stores checked recently in four states or adorned with takeover signage for Verizon, claiming America's most reliable network. This probably is costing Verizon a lot of money. And you know they got the, they got the cap, no cap. They got the cap, but no cap. You know. But my response to that is, if Verizon is the most reliable. Um, if, uh, yeah, if Verizon's the most reliable, then why are there people still searching for Wi-Fi? And then that's what I gained under the Drake GIF. Yeah. If Verizon's the most reliable, then why people are looking for Wi-Fi, man? Come on, man. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Hey, look, I think this is a good stream overall, man. I think this is a good stream overall, man. So, uh... We gonna end it because you know your boy gotta wrap it up. We gonna end this. Your boy gotta wrap it up, man. Um, but yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks for coming. In. Hey, this is a group. This is a great group. Although I had like maybe like what one or two mile races come through. It's all good. I catch y'all on the replay. I catch you all on the replay, man. Drop some comments though. You got any questions, man? Let me know. Let me know, man. Shout, shout out to Dale Dale TV, man. Y'all y'all follow that boy, bro. He be speaking that knowledge, man. You speaking that knowledge on the streaming stuff, man. Like streaming, man. Look, look, look. We 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 got a lot, bro. We got the Chromecast. We got this, man. We got it all, bro. Look, we got that fire. We got that fire stick on deck, man. We got Roku TVs, man. Look, look. It's popping, man. Forget cable. It's popping, man. You got your smartphones. It's popping, man. Look, look. We got that magic. We got that magic TV in, on deck, man. Portable TV, man. Watch TV in the in the in the car, man. For free, man. Get out of here, man. Stop playing with your boy. Stop playing with your boy. And that's my lord. And that's my lord. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. Verizon raping people, bro. Yeah. All right, you too, man. Take it easy, man. We out. Yeah, we out, man. Th thanks for everybody watching, man, for real. Please show this with your family and friends. I'm going to put all my links in the description box, man. Look, it's going down. I got to wrap this up. Right out to some beach, man. Right out to that beach real quick. Right out to that beach.